straight up to the big story we're tracking here on Magic Bricks Now to Magic Bricks Now Impact, a sustained campaign with the citizens of Bengaluru pays off. Big win for Bengaluru citizens fighting against the VVIP steel flyover. Karnataka High Court put steel flyover on hold. Now, the Bengaluru Development Authority or the BDA gives an undertaking agreeing to not start work on the controversial project for now. Srija gets us more details. In a big victory for protesting citizens, the Bengaluru Development Authority today gave an undertaking to the Karnataka High Court that it will not proceed with the construction of the proposed steel flyover. Remember, citizens have been against this flyover and uh, they have been protesting for over a month. The Honourable High Court said that it would examine the legal and constitutional issues such as lack of public consultation and scrutiny of the project by the Metropolitan Planning Committee and, uh, and they will pass a final order. Now, the petition filed by Namma Bengaluru Foundation challenged the construction of six-lane elevated road from Basaveshwara Circle to Hebal Flyover by Bengaluru Development Authority at an estimated cost of 1,791 crores. And the petition was uh, today heard in the wake of the injunction today passed by the Gr National Green Tribunal on October 25th, 2016. Now, citizens have been uh, protesting against this flyover for various reasons, chief being that it will cost uh, the city about 812 trees that will have to be axed to make way for the flyover. The NGT has stayed the flyover for four weeks. The next hearing is scheduled in the next three weeks. In Bengaluru, Srija for Magic Breaks Now. Now, we also spoke with P.N. Naik from the BDA, or Bengaluru Development Authority. He says the Development Authority will now wait for the crucial National Green Tribunal Nord to take the project forward. We have we give the director of acceptance. In the meantime, NGT has given the stay for four weeks. We are not. We have stopped it. We have stopped the work. No, we have to file our application to the NGT. Then, once it is clear from the NGT, then we will proceed. Now, joining me on the uh, on Magic Bricks now is Sridhar Pabishetti from Namma Bengaluru Foundation. Sridhar, welcome to the show. First of all. Uh, first, there was the NGT stay. Now, of course, with the High Court uh, state's big win for citizens uh, of Bengaluru, isn't it? Absolutely. And I think, as we have been saying from the start, uh, today's uh, hearing at the High Court has been a very, very welcome victory. We have been saying that due process of law has not been followed. We have uh, the, the, the key issue of saying when the project is not there in the master plan of BDA, how could the BDA proceed with this without putting it through the scrutiny of the Metropolitan Planning Committee? Secondly, due effective and deliberate public consultations are the norm on projects of this, this nature. Why was there no due effective and deliberate public consultation done? And thirdly, you know, I hope at some point of time we will get a chance to look at our RTI applications. Our RTI applications uh, go, back, go back to 14th of July of this year and none of them have been answered so far uh, uh, and information have not been given. They are going from table to table, appeal to appeal, but uh, BDA is still not disclosed the information. So what kind of uh, scrutiny will, will BDA be open to? Was it BDA's decision till this day? But today with the, at the Karnataka High Court, they were forced to make a submission that they will not proceed with the project unless they get a go ahead with the Karnataka High Court as well. So I think now BDA has an uphill task of now convincing how uh, they have followed due process of law at the Karnataka High Court and also the environmental aspects. They have to now uh, go behind, go go at go and explain at the National Green Tribunal, and hopefully between these two, they will get to answer the key crucial questions of saying, do they have the mandate, and now how will they go ahead with it? Right, Sridhar, do stay with us. We also have Nasser Hussain of the Congress Party joining us on Magic Bricks now. Mr. Hussain, first of all, uh, the go government of Karnataka has been very keen on implementing this uh, flyover now with the High Court asking uh, the BDA to not go ahead with with the construction. It's a huge setback for. The Karnataka government? Uh, uh, see, Amitabh, uh, the Karnataka government and the Indian National Congress are committed for the development of, the, of Bangalore City. They are committed to ease the traffic on the roads of Bangalore City. They are committed to get, uh, to give the best possible infrastructure to the people of Bangalore. We are committed and there is no second thought on that. 
there are people who are concerned on the environment issues there are people who say procedures are not followed there are people who are really concerned and there are people who are politically motivated so uh, some people went to ngt some went to the court and in both the cases what you have seen is they have asked for certain clarifications they have not asked us to close the construction of the road they have just asked us to hold till both these authorities give us go ahead or give the final judgment on that i think people those who are claiming a victory it's fine for them let them uh, be happy let them uh, claim victory on that but we in the government and in the party we are committed not only uh, for this flyover we are committed for the other flyovers other elevated corridors other tender shore roads for everything that is possible that will benefit for the people of bengaluru we are right. we are going to go ahead with that and for the and as as for the clarification that has to be given both in the ngt and the court i think when the government has followed all the procedures i'm sure they have everything on their side to be presented in right. both the ngt and the court shridhar i want you to come in here uh, you know rebut to that statement uh, uh, nasir sen saying that this is just an interim uh, you know order and they are still committed to going ahead with the steel flyover I I hope Nasir Hussain remembers the assurances that he gave on your very sure the last time around we were there telling that information sought under RTI should be disclosed. I would like to bring to his notice this uh, uh this RTI application filed by Namma Bengaluru Foundation dated 14th July where we had asked the 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 uh the DPR of the project we had asked for feasibility studies that were conducted the impact assessments they had undertaken and what was the nature of public opinion they have received. and to this day we have only got laughable excuses for this including things such as the information that you seek has to be created i fail to understand if the dpr was created in november of 2015 why was it not put into the public domain till there was a protest 36 hours before the protest what is it that they are hiding and there are still many unanswered questions from our rti including the tendering process the tenders received how are they approved how are they processed all this information even after the first appeal that was heard by the bda on october 18th we are yet to get a order and we are yet to get a commitment on them from when when they will release this information i still don't understand what is it that uh, mr nasir hussain claims as a interim setback or whatever to him when they have failed to follow due process of law mr nasir hussain i don't know if you know sir there is something called as the right information act and there is something that uh, i think upa one brought it in in the year 2005 is bda above and beyond even the rti act then see i think uh, i think uh, mr pabishetty is trying to uh, confuse and mislead the viewers on your television channel see uh, rti which was brought by the upa and the congress government we are all very committed that the rti should be enforced whether it is no but is bda uh, beyond and above then, rti act please, is the question please, that i asked hold, please please hold on please hold on whether it is the bbmp or the bda or the karnataka government everyone has to everyone is binded by the rti act and everyone has to answer all the questions that has been sought if somebody is not doing that they they will have they will have to answer for that that is fine but what what i uh, what i commit on this uh, channel is see whatever information that has been asked in the high court and by the ngt will be provided by the government of karnataka will be provided mr hosan also we, tell me we this we have we there are no lapses in the procedures that has to be followed for this flyover or any other flyover if there is there then the government of karnataka will answer for that and i am sure by now what is by, by now what is uh, that uh, what is now that is between the people those are protesting and in the government is that there 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 are certain things which the same questions are coming again and again the government of karnataka has already answered that the government of karnataka will answer it again and again whether it is in ngt whether it is high court whether it is in public domain. right right mr husain tell me this now uh, sources also tell us that you will challenge the high court uh, and the ngt order in the supreme court is that true uh, no, i don't know that is for the government of karnataka to decide as to how to work but i think but, but i think the clarification that have been sought by both these bodies the high court and the ngt, uh, NGT i think uh, the, the procedures that have been followed by the karnataka government if that are provided there i think that will solve the problem i don't know if uh, they are going for the uh, to challenge this uh, uh, orders in uh, supreme court or not i am not very sure about it i'll have to check it on that and that if, if 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 the government of karnataka doesn't want to wait for that they can also 
they can also challenge it in the supreme court because that avenue is also uh, uh, open for the uh, government of karnataka to go ahead all right i want to bring in shridhar here shridhar uh, you know mr hussain also said that this will ease traffic in the city of bangalore considerably explain to our viewers uh, what you think of it i i definitely don't think so and uh, mr hussain is completely misinformed on this world over studies have shown that mobility improvement is important and not building infrastructure for cars right there is a philosophical misunderstanding by the government of karnataka of how they will go ahead and solve this problem we have seen flyover after flyover be it kr puram flyover be it silk boat flyover where you only shift the bottlenecks but you don't really solve the problem right so unfortunately the government has a ostrich like behavior i am bringing a very specific information and i am more than happy to give the copy of the rti act to uh, the the rti applications to mr nasir hussain i have never heard anything concrete from mr nasir hussain other than something somebody will follow the due process here is a very specific case of information where rti act has been butchered by the bda and he still thinks that the government would have done the due process i don't know on what basis he speaks right so it's important that we solve the problem in the right way the metropolitan planning committee is a right body to look at a holistic long term development vision for bangalore for a period of 5 years and steer the development work by that's taken by all agencies that are relevant to the state i don't even know why uh, why mr hussain doesn't want to be informed on the right processes as well it's right. good that he has to defend his government but at the same time he can't turn a blind eye to the right processes which we have been speaking continuously and i don't think he does his homework well no no i i i i think mr pavishetty has been harping on the same uh, argument again and again uh, uh, again and again see that we have already clarified there is no need for every project to be gone in bm bangalore metropolitan planning committee it is for the holistic planning of the a city of bangalore but but there can be projects which can be envisaged which can be conceived conceptualized by the government of karnataka also that is also that is that has been made very clear by both the bda and government of karnataka and the ministry himself right. has on record said this so so i think there is no uh, there, is, there is no clash of interest between bb uh, bangalore metropolitan committee and the government of karnataka that, that is one thing second See, nobody said that this one steel flyover will solve the ease, will ease the traffic on the roads of Bangalore. Even we have been talking about uh, an overall plan for easing out the traffic in the entire city of Bangalore. We said that it is not only this flyover; there will be many more flyovers that will be coming. There will right. be metro. There will be more buses. See, you can't just so you can't just have only metro and then solve the uh, traffic problem. You can't just have buses and solve the traffic problem. If you will have to have something of everything. So I think that plan is underway. When we are speaking right. specifically of just uh, steel flyover, then we discuss only this. But otherwise, uh, the government Mr. has a mobility plan to... for the entire yeah. city of Bangalore. Mr. Hussain, I'll have to cut you in here. Uh, I want your closing remarks on this. Now we saw close to eight thousand people come out on the streets, uh, you know, uh, and uh, you know, protest against the uh, steel flyover. Now there is the HC, uh, which has given a stay order. We also have the NGT, which has given a stay order. Uh, is the government still committed to go ahead with the uh, steel flyover? See, the government of Karnataka and the Indian National Congress both are committed. Both are fully committed to go ahead with all its plans. Not, but plans not only this flyover, but with other flyovers, elevated corridors, everything, whatever we have promised in the manifesto or, or otherwise planned by the government of Karnataka, we yeah. are fully committed to that. and uh, as far as uh, the stays in ngt and the high court we will answer both in the high court and ngt and as you said there is also an uh, avenue of going and challenging this in the supreme court we'll do that also because we are committed to this we'll go ahead right i thank you both gentlemen for joining us here on magic pricks now uh, government of karnataka there uh, you know uh, saying that they will go ahead with the steel fly one could possibly challenge the high court and the ngt orders in the supreme court that's something that we'll keep a close watch on here on magic pricks now you can watch live tv on our website mbnow.in find us on facebook at facebook.com/magicpricksnow and don't forget to click the like button You can also follow us on Twitter at Magic Bricks Now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com/magicbricksnow.